when you won't want me, when you won't want me, I'm in San Francisco, Jamie. <laughs> I don't know why they haven't found me like all along when I was like literally begging somebody give me an offer, please. Then again, I've gotten a lot of rejections that if I were to get rejections next week, <laughs> what day is she now try to pay me oh, because I really like these companies, right? But so that's the schedule for today, so it's quite party chook. Now I'm like, oh no, it's 10 degrees. The weather is good today. Yo, when I came, it was negative 12. <laughs> Guys, good morning. Um, today's Thursday and it is currently 75. Um, today is a very busy day, so I wanted to like vlog this <laughs> for the culture. Um I have well, four interviews, right? Um, I've had four interviews in the past, but like that was like beginning time with a couple of phone call interviews here and there. But today is particularly delicate because um, three out of four are final stages and uh, one is the second stage. And so there's a lot at stake. And this is probably the earliest I've had an interview. I have one for eight o'clock. <laughs> I'm not a morning person. This is 7.26. Anyways, um, so I have for 8 o'clock to 9, I have from 10 to 10, 30, oh my god. Okay, yeah, then I have from 1 to 2, so I'll probably go and shower after 10, 30, and um, after 1 to 2, I have a 2, 15 to 2, 45, and then finally I have a 3 o'clock house viewing appointment, I'm definitely going to relate to that, but, um, I have to schedule this interview because bigger picture and priorities, right? Um, so that's the schedule for today. So it's quite party chook. <laughs> and here couple with that is fasting. So man, it's about to be a long day. I think on Friday, yeah, I vlogged that when I got a call that I got a job offer. So yeah, um, this is just weighing my options so i really need to ace today's interview it's going to help me i'm very hopeful but then again i've gotten a lot of rejections that if i were to get rejections next week <laughs> what day is she now try to pay me oh, because i really like these companies right but <laughs> i've gotten rejections from like fifth stage companies that i love i'll probably do a series on rejection because <laughs> it is in this canada but yeah anyways um Oh wow, it's 7.29. I always like to be set by 30 minutes before my interview so I can do some digging. I already did some digging yesterday to be fair, that's what I'm lazing about. Um, I'll just brush my teeth and settle in, get ready for the interview. Um, yeah, wish me luck guys. This first one is actually the guy, <laughs> it's a funny story. Um, the HR called me and I was like, uh, I'm sorry, I already have an offer. Like, I, I, I told myself that I wasn't doing any uh, first stage interview again. That was like uh, two days ago. Like, I am tired of first stage interviews. So, at this point, final stages, let me clear what I have in my pipeline and keep it moving. But then this guy calls me and literally he was selling the company to me, asked me how much I got. It went like, um, yeah, 5k over the offer I got, which was like 10k higher than what I even asked for when I was applying to be honest I've applied to plenty of companies that I don't even remember their name I thought it was a scammer when he called me <laughs> but yeah um I'd even offer a 10% bonus so I'm like okay so this is like straight to final stage I didn't even have to do anything so he was like I I just need to convince the director and the VP and then the job is mine to be fair I have a, another company that I really like as so today and the final stage is for me today. Um, I'm meeting two people like separately, the VP and the um, director, I think. Yeah, um, separately today as well. I really love that company, but if it doesn't work out, oh, I'm gonna go with that other one. But yeah, fingers crossed. Let's see the ones that come through. Um, so yeah, in terms of stick, that's what I'm working with. Um, what else was that? Yeah, that's pretty much all for today. Oh, wow, 731. I'm not sure I'll be able to take a quick brush, but <laughs> I mean, thanks for this video interview. But it can smell my mouth. <laughs> um, so 
I'll, I'll get on with it. I need to call my brother to ask for my phone tripod because that would have made my life easier. Like my hand is hurting holding the short tripod. Um. So yeah, that's it, guys. Wish me luck and yeah, see you soon. Peace out. <laughs> A few inches later. Um. So I'm like. 10 minutes later than I normally would to uh, prepare my notes and questions for the interview but yeah I was trying to set up uh, so it's 7.41 and I have 19 minutes to very quickly breeze through articles I do this at this time because um, I don't want to forget because I plan to come back so I typically like 30 minutes to uh, 45 minutes then I begin to do my research. So, yeah, gotta go. <laughs> See you soon. Yeah. Okay. So, um, all of my experiences are in Nigeria. I recently moved to Canada two months ago. Um, so yeah, I'm still learning the ropes. Um, <laughs> but in Nigeria, uh, February. Yeah. Of course, it was pretty cold. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Yeah, I mean now I'm like, oh no, it's 10 degrees. The weather is good today. Yo, when I came, it was negative 12. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I can I can relate. From the airport, I could feel my fingers freezing. I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna die today. <laughs> yeah unfortunately for me <laughs> but yeah anyways uh back in nigeria i worked as a sales data analyst HR to finance to marketing to production you name it you know they manufactured products for hair care hair fashion so your extensions your relaxers and your shampoos your home insecticide soaps and laundry soap so it was it was a huge uh, portfolio hi guys um so interview one done and dusted ah feedback however is that um i don't if you're an analyst you'd understand and the role is more from what i gathered is it had a lot more to do with microsoft excel and a lot of salesforce and i really do not have like an extensive experience in salesforce i just used it like on the surface um, I hope you know other skills makes up for that. Well, we'll see. Uh, they said I'm the first person that you know um, they interviewed, so looks like I set the stakes high up here. Uh, the feedback I got from them was that you know I was able to answer all their questions, and you know they didn't even need to ask me because I had touch points comprehensively about my experience. Um, so I think that went well. But anyways, I mean, we move. Um, you were saying something about feedback next week. I'm like, yo, I told your HR I gotta accept an offer next week. But you know, I'm push it. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, um, my next one is at what time? What time? What time? My next one is at ten o'clock. This is my god. Am I ever going to take a break? It's like an hour from now. Um, so I'm just going to Okay, maybe just brush my teeth and Hurry back to prepare for the 10 o'clock and you know, I have another one at um, At 10 30 then I have a one so that one is a longer break to take a shower So yeah, that's it. Anyways One done Three to go. The Lord is my strength. I feel like I should just record this interview and just be playing it for them because you like literally saying the same thing every time. It's exhausting. But anyways, we move. So see you guys in my second interview. He's out. A few moments later. So um it's currently 944 and I finally want to brush my teeth. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um I have 15 minutes to go. 
this is one of the final stages with one company and you know in terms of what the company does i've already done two stages so i don't really need to like refresh my memory um but yeah i only just want to like do some background check you know investigation on linkedin about the person that i'm meeting so i can ask some questions but yeah that's about it come with me to interview number two <laughs> Yeah, my interview is about to start. <sighs> um, I think the next question, I already asked a couple of questions with, you know, the previous guys. And, you know, this is just on a final note. Like, I usually like to get a sense of feedback as to how a session has been. Because, of course, everybody learns. Um, so, I just wanted to ask, how has it been so far? Was I able to answer your questions? Are there some areas that you thought I didn't, you know, uh, dwell on and all of that stuff? Okay, okay that, that's great to hear uh, anyways you said you had a meeting so I would you know keep my question for the next person um, yeah thank you so much nice to meet you have a nice day bye bye thank you okay so it's a wrap two down two to go uh, my next one is at I think the next one is at 2 okay no it's at 1 p.m. and it's currently 10 30 so I have um, roughly around 2 hours 30 minutes which is great um, so I would go take a shower and maybe try to take a nap hopefully that's not disastrous um, I wake up 30 minutes to the next interview as usual to prepare and because 1 to 2, after 1 to 2 I have uh, 2.15 to 2.45 so it's like a very narrow um, <laughs> space in between so this is the only time I have to take a break um, so yeah that's it, I'll see you in my third interview feedback though, I think it went well I met with the regional manager so it's not exactly like uh, top tier, top tier, you get what I mean. Um, the next one is with the, the director, I think, or the VP, and that is supposed to be the final, final. Like, I've done technical, I've met the hiring manager, I did technical with the team members, of course, I did the HR, and now this was the regional manager. Um, so yeah, the final straw <laughs> is my last interview for today. Oh my god, I can always to end it, but anyways, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'll see you when I am about to start the third interview. Yeah, I hope I'm not boring you so far. I'll probably try to add some clips from the interview a little bit uh, so that you can feel like you were in the interview with me. Um, but yeah, that's it, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, this is Hamida. Good morning. Oh, hi. Yeah, we've been missing each other's calls. I've been trying to call you back. Okay. Yes, actually. Yeah, I got an offer on Friday. So, um, yeah, I've picked up one. No, unfortunately, no. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I have. I'm resuming next week, Monday. So, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll be in touch. Thank you so much, Parental. Bye, have a nice day. 
Okay, so that was the recruiter. That's typically what my my life looks like. Like, when you want me, when you want me, I'm in San Francisco, jamming. <laughs> I don't know why they haven't found me like all along when I was like literally begging somebody give me an offer, please. Like I was just interviewing, interviewing, um, and you know nothing came through, and then. Since Friday, I got an offer. You every day they are calling me. This lady actually reached out to me like um, um, March 22nd. Yeah, because I actually went to look for an e her email when I missed a call. Even though what she was offering me at that time was wasn't a lot, like compared to what was attainable from the previous interviews. She was like, "Oh, since I haven't started, like I should take something at least." You know how they are like a, a better at hand, right? So I thought, oh, "Okay, no problem." I sent her my resume to. Uh, continue and it's like what how many weeks after she's coming down to ask if I've moved out of Brantford because I told her that you know I'll be moving soon and all of that but anyways too bad for her the eagle has taken off um, if she was offering a lot more money guy I would have taken the interview because she said now that Microsoft wanted to interview me but girl what you're offering me is nothing so no thanks <laughs> um yeah and it's a contract role by the way so that's why the pay is not so fantastic um so yeah that's it mm, it's 12 12 20 at the moment and my next interview is at one since the last one i haven't been able to do anything aside from take a shower so yeah got all this freshness okay he needs sleep balm to complete his shower so let's do that <laughs> but yeah anyways um my next interview is in about 45 minutes. I actually need to prepare for this one uh, because it is a second stage. It's a second stage and you know the first stage was just the recruiter. So I need to like talk about the company and all of that stuff. So I need to do my assignment on this one. Uh, so the final one is um, it's from the same company as interview two, but with the VP this time around. Uh, so now it's like 15 minutes after this, it's back to back. If I'm able to round up this one before two, so I'll take a break to quickly pray before uh, the next one. So after my um, after my interview at 2.45, I haven't cooked like soup since I got here on Friday. So don't even ask me how I've been breaking my fast. God has been doing it. Uh, so I'm just going to right now before actually before I start preparing I'm going to bring out the chicken and pepper from the freezer so that by the time I'm ready in the evening say like 6 to cook it would have, it would have been defrosted so I'm going to do that before I sit right now but yeah remote life no go anywhere with a spray perfume with a change clothes <laughs> but yeah you don't even want to see what is under under this uh, blouse uh, you should ask how they want to see it but Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, after that, oh, I haven't spoken to my baby today. I mean, I knew today was gonna be crazy. And he right there woke me up to some beautiful text messages. It's like, oh, what did I do to deserve this guy? So yeah, I went to catch up with him after the interview. And you know, um, one of my friends, Damola, I'm supposed to give her a call as well so um if i'm able to do two of them fine if not i might just like take a nap after speaking to my husband um you know so that by the time i wake up uh, it will be time to resume in the kitchen and after cooking i think that will mark the end of the day but yeah it's not like i'm ending the vlog here this was all just you know letting you know how my day would go um so of course when i start the interview number three i will bring you guys with me so in the meantime Hi, good afternoon. <laughs> Fine, thank you. How are you? Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, is, is this my cue to go? <laughs> okay, I, this, is, this is the first because normally when I get on calls like this, people will be like, how is your name pronounced is it hamida just so we don't get it wrong but you know you guys got it correctly so thank you <laughs> you know i'd said that i loved people i love working with people but <laughs> 
you know <laughs> when you see that amount of people at times you it's hard not to lose your mind sometimes uh, but at the end of the day it all went well it was fun because you know you concentrate on their strength and what they bring wow oh my god interview three done and dusted i think this was like the best interview today I um, you know, I was about joining the interview when I saw that it was a panel interview. Here it was three people, like manager, the manager's manager, and another analyst. But, wow. I wanted to record the end, you know. Um, I'll, I'll probably share a video talking about my interview experiences and the tips and tricks, the questions that I ask and, you know, and the feedback that I've gotten. So that might help somebody, you know, that is interviewing soon. But damn. I actually wanted to hit record and remove my headset when they were giving feedback but my battery had died hi it pained me like even i needed to listen to that uh, recording of the feedback to motivate myself if at all you know i'm feeling bad someday because yo they add it up like they ate it swallowed it everything that i said well thank god that was all god wasn't me so even if this role doesn't work out which by god's grace you know i pray it does I've, I've had so many rejection letters that god this week i don't want any rejection so um in as much as at the end of the day i have to go with just one <laughs> you know I, it would be nice to see all of these interviews you know turn out to something great for yo this went well this was the highlight of my day have another one in 14 minutes that is with um um company two this that as well is the final stage with the vice president so I, I better get on it while i was on it um my phone kept on buzzing and i got a text now so it's from one of the it's from the hr from one of the interviews i had earlier in the week i think i had two stages with them this week I met with the director and i met with the team members on today's thursday um was it yesterday yeah it was yesterday and they had like great feedback for me as well so i'm guessing she wants to give me an offer who knows um, but when i call i'll put it on speaker so that you guys can be in on the amiable but yeah so far it's great let me just ace this last interview and it's a wrap see you bye bye yeah Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I have, I, I will tell you very, very sincerely, I have found that um, it's been a breath of fresh air personally that I see evidence all the time that Experian actually and truly cares about employees. They want the employees to have a good life. They want employees to to have a healthy life, whether that's work-life balance or uh, mental health or being full participants in society, mm -hmm. equal representation. Um, and I see the way the company invests in those things with seminars and trainings and events. And um... so, my, my last question, you know, I see that we, we have just one minute, is, you know, just like a sense of feedback. Um, I always like to get a, a sense of feedback after I have conversations, like was I able to answer your questions, are there some areas that you want me to touch point on, you know, that I left out, just like a general feedback and maybe even areas to improve if you are generous enough. <laughs> certainly, certainly, uh, I think uh, you certainly have the right type of experience that we're looking for, um, directly applicable in terms of data analysis, use of the, the right tools. Uh, I, I think um, the, uh, your story and about your own aspirations for um, where you want your career to be, I think that's uh, really hugely encouraging and, and the fact that you backed it up with a big life change <laughs> that you know, you're, you're willing to move thousands of miles away because of opportunity and to pursue your dream. I think it's awesome. So. Um, I, yeah, I, I enjoyed speaking with you, and I, I think um, I would just say, as far as any advice I can give, would be whether this is the right opportunity for you, or some other company's right opportunity for you. Um, just try to keep that balance about um, working 
somewhere that you believe in, that you feel like not only can I make a difference here, but but they can make a difference for me, and it, it's got to work for both parties, right? It, it sounds like your your um, your role at at, um, at Goodrich was was a bigger role, but you were kind of left to your own and maybe didn't have the support that you needed. And you talked about how that has influenced what you're looking for now. You said a couple of times, I don't want to be flying solo. I don't want to be by myself. I want to be part of a team. Yeah. So don't give up on that. Don't give up on that and, and keep looking for that that fit for yourself. Because I think you have, you have very current and relevant skills that you could have taken other roles that were offered to you. Yeah. Um, but but hang in there for the one that feels right for you. Yes, I will. <laughs> thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Well, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it and uh, enjoyed speaking. Why is it still not focusing? Guess who's done? <laughs> Yay, the day is finally over. At least I am intentionally making sure that it is over. I cannot die. I'm probably running on about four hours of sleep or five hours. I'm naturally fasting time, don't really get enough sleep anyway. So I mean coupled with all of these preparations and all. Um so yeah, I inserted a clip of you know the feedback that he gave me it might be beneficial to somebody. Um now I feel like I should have recorded the first one. It pinned me down was more intense. I don't have to go apartment scene so the only thing left on my to do is some phone calls and also um, cook this vlog is actually going to be long and I'll, well I'll definitely cut out a couple of things uh, just so that you know we stick to the relevant parts but now you know as I was in the bathroom I was getting inspiration I'm definitely going to do a video about you know interviews and likely questions I mean if I were to count it I probably would have had about 40 interviews nonetheless like I'm sure I would have had like 40 interviews so I mean I think that I have enough experience to share my story and also share uh, the feedback and questions that I've gotten from you know even top level and top management um, so yeah I'm definitely going to do a video on questions that you should look out for in your interviews and you know how to attack them um, I don't know whether to make it specific to my data analysis out there but I want it to be as general as possible so everybody can pick a thing or two um, but maybe just few examples as you know regards technicality of the questions for analysts but yeah it's a wrap okay yeah one last thing I said I was going to call um, this lady back that I missed out call so um, I'm going to do that right now and put it on speaker or oh, when I came out of the shower the the offer I got, the company sent me lots of documents to fill against onboarding, so nah, not gonna happen. I'll attack that tomorrow or even Saturday. Said to get to him by weekend, so yeah, that's fine. Cause now nah, it's I hate filling forms and it's a lot. But anyways, um, let's call the lady. Uh, oh wow, she gave me. Okay, so um, she's not picking, but. I'll probably still record it whenever she calls me. Um, I need to actually prepare my speech because she's definitely going to offer me something low, like lower than the offer I got. I spoke to her like two weeks ago. We started this whole talk like two or three weeks ago. No, two weeks ago actually. And you know, the dynamics then has changed because now I've seen what I'm worth in the market. So, mm -mm. there's no going back. I doubt that they will be able to match it up though. But we'll see anyways i would still keep it and ask her to give me some time um till next week to decide when i see all the feedback from the applications that i've done today um so i can decide so yeah um so hold on man i'm struggling to hear you okay i can hear you now can you hear me yes i can hear you so how was your meeting yesterday with uh, Tracy and uh, Rashi? Yeah, it was good. I kind of miss working in a team. So yeah, definitely good vibes. <laughs> yeah, I love speaking to them. It went well, I think. That's good. That's good. Um, so I'm glad that you had a great experience. I got a very good feedback as well from uh, both of them. Okay. Um, as a final step, uh, Hamida, uh, we would like to do a uh, lot of final step. Actually, there is one more step after that if everything goes well. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, this is a lot of steps. But yeah, go ahead. Yes, I know. There are a couple of steps because we, as you said, when we make 
make sure when we hire we uh, have the, uh, we have few steps but the ones hired we give them a lot of uh, like uh, career path and growth and everything so uh, just a, a few two more that's it uh, not more than that um can you um, please um, uh, like i'm going to send you an excel test um, um as the next step okay. and uh, Challenge. These are the two assessments which I am going to send it over to you. Okay. Um, right now. I'm sorry. When are I you sending it? Right now, but I can send it to you right now. Uh, when you get a chance, if you can complete that, that will be great. Yeah, because I'm still on my table now. So yeah, maybe send it over so I can finish it up before I close for the day. So yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. How is everything going, uh, uh, Hamida? I know you are still uh, looking for opportunities too. So, um, so uh, how are you are interviewing anywhere? What's happening? Um, like yeah, of course. I mean, I'm spreading my tentacles everywhere. Um, okay. So, um, hopefully by next week I'll get a couple of you know final feedbacks. Um, so yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. I really appreciate it, and I'm gonna send you the. Uh, uh, um, Excellent. Okay. Bye. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Bye -bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye, -bye. Can you can you just imagine? Can you imagine two more steps? Kilo they will die after doing three steps. This woman will be joking. Like bless her, I will just tell her now. Say I know they do it. They make her switch to pigeon very quickly. Like yo, I said I wasn't doing an interview again like this week or even next week. Like I'm done, you guys. But anyway, Shamika shall take the test. I didn't say what doing is what doing well. So I'ma do it. But yeah, I'll definitely watch out for my video on interviewing in Canada and you know the Canadian job market, yeah, 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 shenanigans. I'll take some notes so that I don't forget. Um so yeah, that's it. You you already know how my rest of the day is gonna go, so no need to buttress that. Um, so yeah, that is a day in the life of a new immigrant in Canada looking for work, looking for job. Hmm. So yeah, not to discourage anybody, please come, but just be mentally prepared because it's gonna be a lot of work. The more they look for you, they they find us. One well, analyst, they they find you, but we do the work. But yeah, anyway, that's it, guys. Um, see you in the next couple of vlogs. Maybe I'll start another one when it's time for um, house viewing or when I go to the bank and all of that stuff. Yeah. But for now, this is adios. Is it adios or adio? What else? <laughs> Toodles. Have a nice day or night. I don't know what time this will be, but you get the gist. So signing out. See you some other time. Bye.